All right, guys. We've um, we got the guitar prepped here. Look. It's all sorted, all scuffed, all masked off, etc., etc. Um, give it a good tack rag off. Make sure we get all that dust off. Okay, that's that. Um, now I am going to cover it in base coat sealer dark. Um, just to make sure we've got a nice uniform black surface that, yeah, that's uh, nice and ready to take the gold I'm going to spray all over this. First and foremost, I'm going to be putting a lot of paint into the air, so put a mask on. Then we've got a little HVLP gun here. Um, it's got a 0 0.8 nozzle, I think, maybe. Um, so we'll just spray that black. There you go, there's one coat. Um, the extraction going. So, uh, I'll heat set that. Um, probably put another two coats on, maybe. See how it goes, maybe one, maybe two. But I'll do that. Uh, and then we'll crack on with the gold. Okay, so we've, um, we've sprayed that black with uh, Auto Air Base Coat Sealer Dark, as you just seen. Um, only did a couple of coats, uh, that was fine. I heat set it, I'm gonna let that sit for a while while the compressor charges up and I go have a cup of tea. Um, and uh, then I'm gonna go over this with some 600 wet and dry, ever so lightly. It's just come out a bit grainy for my liking and I want it to be nice and smooth. So. Compressor, copper, light sand, and uh, and then some gold. Okay, so I've just gone over this with some uh, 600 wet and dry, uh, only lightly, uh, and given it a, a tack rag off. There you, go, you can see the stuff it pulled off of it. Uh, it's now a much nicer surface. It was a bit grainy before. Um. So now we'll load up the spray gun with some auto air metallic gold. Um, I managed to drop the bottle yesterday, <laughs> hence it being in this hair dye bottle. Um, the bottle shattered. I've got gold trainers and the floor down there is gold too. <laughs> Whoops. So uh, hence it being in a hair dye bottle. Um, but anyway. Let's load this up into the spray gun and uh, and make this guitar gold. Okay, so three coats of the gold. Um, I'm then gonna let that sit for a little while. I heat set it, but I'll just let it sit for an hour or so, just to make sure that it's fully cured, uh, nice and dry. Then I'll go in with a tack rag, tack rag it off a bit, and uh, we'll put some red candy over this. Okay, so now that's sat there for a while, I've given it a tack rag off, uh, we're going to put some candy on it now. Um, Auto wears candy apple red on there. Reduced with a 4011 reducer. I've got it mixed up here in a cup. All good to go to the right ratio. So we'll put that in the spray gun and, uh, and we'll start putting the coats on. Now, apparently, with this auto air candy, it's very important to A, get the mixing ratio right um, and also to work in very light coats 
so uh, this is going to take a fair few coats but of course we want to do it properly don't we alrighty there she is with um, she's got seven very light coats of auto air candy um, apple red I don't think about that uh, and it's I don't know it's a little bit too bright of a red for me to be honest so now I'm gonna go in with um, candy brandy and I'm gonna go around the edges here uh, do like a burst effect around the edges uh, and see how that goes there we go then that's the background done um, she's been she's got a nice intercoat clear on there to protect all that underneath so uh, in the next vid we'll scuff this up and uh, we'll get busy painting the um, Zatanna lass on this back half.